it is evening time here in Quebec City as we are watching the kickoff here of the Japan versus Turkey men's elite game. This is game number 85. Here joining me is Faito to give the first section of Japanese commentary. Faito. Yes, konbanwa nihongo de kaizetsu shitai to omoimasu. Sa, Nihon wa kore de 4 sen mei narimasu. A really tight game over here so far. A lot of back and forth, and we have ended up in the corner very, very quickly here. Uh, Turkey taking very quick advantage of this Japanese team. But it is not an uneven fight so far. Again, back and forth, not a lot of possession maintained. Uh, we've got Nerman from the content uh, from the comment section uh, checking in. We're hoping to get some Turkish commentary soon. For now, none yet. And we have our first stop and play the rest of the signal in favor of Japan. Turkey making great use of uh, the offensive uh, sprinting there on the J Japanese advantage puck. Definitely not giving them too much free space here. Uh, as the J Japanese team tries to drive it up the wall, Turkey peels off of them and drives it right back down the middle. Some big flicks and the Japanese defense scrambling to keep up. Playing right on the lip of the net here. We've lost a black stick and found it, but we have a stoppage in play here. And we've got somebody going out for a minute. This will be number 10 on the black team. Going out for one minute already, not a thing you want to do, only a minute and 45, or two minutes and 45, uh, 12 minutes and 40 seconds left. And it looks like the puck has entered the trough. We're going to see if the refs call it a goal. And it seems like they are. That is a quick goal for Turkey. Uh, almost three minutes into this first half. And we're going to find out who scored that in a sec. That would be number 13, Hack and Cutlu. A good uh, team effort there by Turkey. これから解説したいと思います。とですね、これは3メートルの深さのポールで行われております。でですね、パックを相手のゴールに入れたら勝ちというスティックを使って入れたら勝ちというゲームです。日本はこの世界選手権に12年ぶりに参加しています。2回目
where their under 23 men took the title uh, or a very close second against France, if I recall, actually. Maybe first. Someone from the comment section, if you feel like helping me out there, that would be great. Yeah, I think that the Japanese men are very good. Great wall drive down the far wall here by the Japanese team. We're going to see uh, how this plays out. Stop and play here, this time against Turkey again. Looks to be another uh, illegal advancement of the puck. Giving Japan the advantage right in front of uh, in front of the Turkey net, deep in their territory. Not a place that Turkey wants to be. Big flick. Turkish player easily seems to knock down. Second wave from Japan though, not giving up easy. Unfortunately all alone as there are three Turks on the ground and zero Japanese in there to support. We have another stop and play here. Uh, this one is against Japanese, uh, the Japanese. Again, this is an illegal advancement of the puck. We've got a few of those calls now early on. We've got eight minutes and thirty seconds left here in this first half. Still, it is one nothing in favor of Turkey. But a very close game. A lot of time in both teams' ends here. No one really taking good control of this yet. A great defense here by the Japanese team. And a stoppage in play here. This one in favor of Turkey. This is going to be right by the Japanese net here. Not, not a, an ideal situation. Very close to that uh, offensive line. And Turkey with a lot of power here, playing right on the lip of the net. The puck looks like it has gone in. Just shoveled in there by the Turkish player at the last second. The refs are calling it, and it is in fact a goal. 2-0 in favor of Turkey with only 7.5 minutes left in this game. Again, if you are watching and you like what you see, Please don't hesitate to find the GoFundMe page for the streaming services on the world's website or on the world's Facebook page in order to support the streaming and to support next year's streaming. Great strike there by Turkey, really hitting it with force. Seems like that goal must have woken them up a little bit. They drive right into the Japanese corner early on. That goal by number six, uh, Mert Doggen. <laughs> nice shovel under the body there, but there is a stop in play. It looks like it might be an illegal use of the free arm. We'll see what the refs have to say. Oh, that's going to be an illegal advancement of the puck against Japan. Getting into some advantage trouble here early on. It's not a, not a good way to win games having uh, the other team have possession. Another stop and play. This one looks like the puck went into the trough, making this a 3 0 game in favor of Turkey here on this Sunday night in Quebec City. We got Nerman here in the comment section speaking in hieroglyphics. Nerman, I'm glad you are clapping and happy cheering on your Turkish friends. That goal by number four, Amir.
lot of tight play here in this corner. A big flick by the Turkish player right out into open water. Unfortunately, Japanese attack is three large Turkish players right towards the net, but it is not enough to put it in. It does, however, look like we have a call on the play. And a quick ref timeout so they can figure out and sort themselves out to figure out what that call was exactly. There might have been a couple things in the play, although there are a few reasons to have this ref timeout here. We're still here uh, pretty early up in the draw. This is uh, one of the first few days of world still. So the refs are still taking their opportunities. They have reached a decision. It is going to be a penalty shot, it looks like. The way this works is you get to have two attackers against one defender, the puck sitting three meters away from the defender's net. The defender must keep their hand on the wall the entire way down until the attacking team advances the puck. In order to successfully defend, you must move the puck out of the 5 meter zone from the net within or last longer than 40 seconds without the puck going into the net and without committing a single foul. A little bit of an early drop there, but he's going to come back down. And it looks like this might be the first penalty shot for the Japanese team. Uh, just a little bit unsure on how this is going to work. Again, they haven't been to Worlds in a few years, so this is going to be a very exciting experience for the Japanese viewers at home. And again, very hard to defend these penalty shots. And a big flick right into the bin. As the Turkish team will go up 4 nothing. Admirable effort there for number three on the Japanese team. That is Hiroki Nagashima. Japanese team really performing very well this world so far. Very big group. Turkish team, a big drive on the wall, headbutting the uh, Japanese player. I'm not sure if that's what the call will be. Uh, it looks like a stick infringement against Turkey. It can be really tricky for the refs to catch things under the body and in that uh, sense. However, we get a great view of it from the camera here. So we're going to see a little bit that the refs might not be able to. Again, the refs calling that stake infringement. That is Yuji on the Japanese team, playing with the puck in center uh, pool. Getting caught a little bit but his team is able to recover. Number five on the Turkish team, really just relying on muscle there. This is going to be an equal puck here, very exciting. Both teams must start at the surface and drop at the same time as the buzzer goes and effectively race for the puck directly beneath them. The Turkish team beating the Japanese by a very large diameter there. A very physical uh, Turkish team here taking on the Japanese, really relying on their size and big open flicks doing a great job of exploiting the Japanese defense, uh, centering the puck and then searching for holes. Doing a great job of swimming laterally and then passing it through those holes they have made. And again, right by the Japanese net. And that is going to be another goal for Turkey, as the refs are calling it, making this score 5 nothing 
with two minutes and 15 seconds left in this first half here on on this mass, uh, elite men's game, game number 85. That game, goal was by Farat, number one on the Turkish team. この間に作戦を立て直す。About five seconds left in this timeout before the strike can restarts. Turkey beat the Japanese team very clearly on this last strike. We'll see how this one turns out. A little bit of a closer contention. Turkey still taking it, but the Japanese team not letting him do anything with it. We've got another foul on the play here. This one against the Japanese team. And that's going to be an illegal advancement of the puck. Been a few of those. I would expect to see uh, some individual or team warnings fairly soon if this continues. A lot of bodies down there for the Turkish team. Their center defense taking the sh uh, advantage there. And curiously enough, their onside back was the one who was sitting there. Presumably so he could hit very fresh here if things go wrong. Although a bit of a botched play there as he shovels it to nobody. We've got another stop in play here against Turkey. That's going to be a legal advancement of the puck. Like we said, we'd expect to see some warnings and penalties. This one going to number 13 on the Turkish team. That is Hakan Kutlu. He was going to sit for one minute and think about what he has done. Spending some time in the sin bin. Japanese team hoping to make use of their time with a man advantage. However, Turkey definitely dominating the ball game with sheer virtue of size. Driving it right into the Turkish corner, however, under their sub-bench is not a place you want to play. Giving them the opportunity to change up their bodies, get a few fresh players in. Turkish boys are going to go on a big swim here. But we have a stop in play. We'll find out what that's about. It appears to be halftime. Funny how that always comes up after 15 minutes of play. Again, take a quick scan of the uh, GoFundMe right there. You'll see it on your screen. That is how you can support the organizers of this tournament and of this streaming. Make sure you uh, go on and donate a little bit of money if you like it so we can continue to provide great service this year and the next years to come. Again, this is the first time in a few years that we've had a Japanese team out. How many years has it been? a little bit of quick research here. It has been 12 years since the Japanese team has yes, been present at the World Championship. And I frankly have to say we're very impressed so far by their, uh, well, by their demeanor. They uh, are still all smiles and, uh, and high spirits here, despite a few crushing losses. And uh, really, that's a, that's a huge show of sportsmanship right there. And it reflects very well on the Japanese, uh, the Japanese team that has made the effort to train up and come on out here and compete on the world stage. Really, they're just doing an admirable, admirable job, well composed, uh, putting in uh, s some great efforts in these games, pulling off some really technical moves and uh, definitely demonstrating that they came here to play.
again, the Turkish team, awfully strong. Uh, several of their players coming off of the World Juniors where they came in first in the men's under-23 division. Uh, for those who do not know, Turkey also does get some government funding and sponsorship, giving them a large advantage here in terms of training. Definitely the ideal situation to be in. Uh, actually just coming off of a six-week training camp uh, which frankly as a Canadian player sounds like a dream come true. The uh, longest training camp I think I've attended so far in my time of playing has been about 10 hours, maybe a little bit longer. And we got about 30 seconds here left in this halftime. We can see both teams are looking very calm and composed, neither looking too stressed about the outcome of this game, both here to play some clean hockey and make sure that they uh, execute their game plans to the best of their abilities and see what happens. Both teams hitting the strike pretty evenly there. Uh, <laughs> Japan uh, seems to have pushed through. Not sure if the Turkish player decided to absorb the hit or if the J Japanese player simply outmuscled him. But they're fighting each other for the puck now. And that's their captain, Yuji, right there. Had the opportunity to chat with him earlier. Very, very nice guy. Class act, class athlete, and a very talented player. You can see he performs very technical moves, a lot of skill based play. And the Turkish player is playing right on the lip of the net here. We have a buzzer. Hard to see from here. It looks like the puck has gone in, and the refs are calling it indeed a goal. The score here being 6 nothing in favor of Turkey. You can see the Japanese uh, coach giving his boys some encouragement. So what would you say the Another valiant effort there by Turkey playing right by the Japanese net. The refs, however, calling it a goal. I did not see that puck go in. It looks like there might have been a foul on the play so close to the net. But they called it a penalty goal? Seven nothing now is the score. That was Mert. Mert from the Turkey team. Good goal, Mert. Nice defense by Japan. They're not letting the uh, Turkish team get anything. I imagine their coach has suggested they keep the puck near or on the wall in order to avoid those big Turkish swims that they've been getting. However, the Turkish team is so big, I can't imagine muscling uh, down the wall against them. It's going to be a fun endeavor. Japan with the... Uh, defensive uh, edge here, but the Turkish team's offense is very, very strong. Another advantage puck in Japanese territory that they're taking. However, a little bit of a uh, a little bit sluggish to attack there. Really quick flip of the stick there by the Japanese player. Almost got caught on a bit of a gloving infringement. Number three from the Japanese, a very quick player. Made some advances down the puck. The Turkish team has swung it away from that zone and onto the far side of the wall. Again, very based on fitness and on strength. Out swimming and out muscling the other team. Not a very technical game that Turkey is playing. The Japanese, however, um, a lot of um, a lot of driving down the wall. Usually very technical play. However, they've tried to play a little bit more of a smashy game here. And the Turkish team has lost possession of the puck there for a stick infringement foul that is illegal use of the stick 
probably caught another player's wrist during a tackle. Normally that is what happens. The Japanese team going to take the advantage here. Yuji taking that straight to the wall. Trying to paddle it up through the Turkish player who has better body position and as a result is able to maintain the puck. Another Turkish player driving through number seven. Flicking the puck after the uh, ref has already made the call. They do not like that. And they're going to call that against the Turkish team. That is a body foul. Again, a wall battle here. The Japanese really favoring this right wall, which <laughs> as a viewer here, I have to say I'm very happy with. A lot of close plays right by the camera. Big flick by Turkey back onto the wall. Has to drive right under the sub bench. And another foul on the play here. Uh, this one, illegal use, uh, sorry, illegal advancement of the puck against Turkey. A little bit of confusion here on the surface. We're going to cut to that. The uh, ref chatting with some of the Japanese players. It looks like they're going to send somebody out. That'll be number 10. Again, I haven't caught a signal as to why they are doing that. But the Japanese are going to play with five here, still with the advantage. Could be a subbing foul. Again, the Japanese really favoring this right wall. And again, another stop and play here. This is a body foul, this time against Japan. Turkey going to take this advantage here. Turkish players down real flat. A little bit more play on the far side here. Again, I don't know if uh, if your stream is quite as clear as ours here, but we have a great view all the way across here in Peps. Uh, in Quebec City, the tournament organizers have done a great job of ensuring that the pool is clear, and really, it is crystal clear all the way across the water here. We can see everything that's happening. Japanese team taking the advantage. Again, they only have two down, three players down, sorry, for this advantage. Uh, a curious strategy. I'm not sure why they've chosen to employ it. Uh, and it's been a little bit hit or miss so far. Might benefit them to have a few more players down off of that advantage just to give some options. So the other team doesn't have as much of an idea of where they're going to take it. Good play by Japan there, uh, digging inside of the Turkish tackle. And again, really clear view on this far side. The Turkish player has the puck. Looks like he's going to swing out towards the middle and make the Japanese players chase. Cutting again back, they want to drive straight down that middle there. And almost unopposed, they're going to put that in the trough. The uh, Japanese player a little bit late to the defense there. And that is going to be a confirmed goal here as we get a nice close up of number 11, the referee, or number one, the referee number one. And we're going to get a Japanese timeout here on this play. They're going to take a minute, get settled, and get organized.
And we've got about 35 seconds here left in this half, uh, sorry, in this uh, timeout. The um, Turkish coach giving some words to the six players that he has in the box, or in the water right now. Assist coach talking to the four in the box. And the uh, Japanese team, as you can see, is very relaxed looking. Again, very composed. No one's got their head down. No one's looking upset. They are handling uh, this score very, very well so far. A very classy team. As we kick off again with eight, uh, six minutes and 42 seconds left in this half, Turkey again absolutely obliterating the Japanese team uh, getting to that strike. But we have a stop in play. What are we going to see that call as? That's going to be against Japan, illegal advancement of the puck. We're going to take a look under the water at this advantage. Again, we've got the Turkish center back taking the puck. And they're obviously looking to go forwards as neither of their mids were uh, at the bottom in, at that point in time. Neither of their side backs. Turkey obviously playing a 3-3 formation. And it seems to be working out very well as they've used their width to take the puck off of the wall and drive it straight down the center of the pool. Uh, cutting a big 45 usually away from the wall. And a quick tight layoff. And it seems to have been their strategy for most of the play so far. And the Japanese team really doing a great job of defense there. Yuji is going to hold it for a second. Does not have enough air to stay there. And handing off to his teammate. The Japanese team doing a very great job of cycling in. But they have to be mindful of the corner rule. They need to try and get it out of there at least a meter. And they have. But we're now in risky territory. Again, great defense by the Japanese team. And we have a stop here. We're going to see what that's about. Oh, and we are sending out somebody from the Japanese team. That's not 14. He's going to sit for a minute and reflect on his mistakes. Very quick advancement there from the Turkish team who finally takes the puck laterally as the mid is, uh, their back is in mid water and is unable to make a clean play out of that. And now we're going to see a body foul against Turkey. And we'll see if Japan continues their advantage play dropping with two players only on the bottom. <laughs> Looks like now they've got a third player who drops. Possibly as a distraction. And they still have yet to center the puck off of the advantage, usually taking it straight to the wall. And a deep swing by Turkey. There we have a great view of a Finn, one of the coaches uh, kicking the camera. Those jerks. Yuji's been down for quite some time now, playing a lot of defense, just facing wave after wave of the Turkish players. You gotta go up for some air, my friend. There we go, getting a good sub. Given it his all before he uh, switches out, unless the next player in. Turkey, a big drive towards the Japanese net again. With only three minutes left, we have another call on the play. This one against Japan. It's a stick infringement foul, illegal use of the stick. And with three minutes left in this game, the score is 8 0 in favor of Turkey. This is in the men's elite game. Game number 85. And the Japanese team again, really great defense. Uh, the Turkish team playing a very loose offensive structure here, uh, trying to swim outside of the swarm of Japanese players. 
and the puck looks like it bounces in and out of the trough. It's not going to count as there has been another body foul against the Turkish team. A lot of yelling here from this Japanese coach. He really wants his uh, team to stay composed. Right to the own sub Bit of a boss shot there though. Wasn't expecting the Turkish player to hit him quite so quickly. I would expect to see an advantage rule call there against Turkey. However, none of the refs seem to be calling for that. Again, maybe something we only see on the camera and not uh, something that the refs can catch, but definitely a lot of uh, illegal contact there on that play. Another stop in play here. The refs are calling an advantage uh, against Turkey. We'll see if Japan makes any use of it. Uh, I think, or I imagine it, with the last minute and 18 seconds left of this game, they are going to try and play some defensive uh, hockey. Maybe try and make a run at a goal, but with only so little time left, it might be safer just to keep the score at eight and try not to let any more in. The Turkish players, however, do not want to keep the score at eight. A nice little snowman uh, number there. They are uh, keeping the puck right in the corner there, really putting pressure on the Japanese. I expect them to pull it out of the corner and go for a swing. We'll see how that happens. Looks like we've got a bit of a broken play here. A lot of uh, stagnant uh, hockey in this corner. The Japanese doing a really good job of not letting the Turkish team take a drive at their net. And the Turkish team seems to have given up on the pressure a little bit, just waiting out this Japanese defense. And there we go. A lot more bodies on the ground now. Turkish players racing towards the net and putting the puck in the trough. The refs are calling it. They appear to be in agreement. It is, in fact, a goal. It is going to be 9 nothing. With 12 seconds left, we are going to call this. That is the end of the game. Again, stick around for the post-game interviews. Don't go anywhere. We are going to see the first Japanese interview in Japanese. So look forward to that. We're also going to try and talk to some of the Turkish players. Final score here is 9 nothing. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. We're going to have lots more hockey tomorrow.
はい、それではですね、インタビューをしたいと思います。ゲームを終えて。はい、ゲームを終えて、いかがでしたか。えー、な、そういうの答えられねえな、俺。えー、日本語で、日本語で。あ、とりあえず、あの、一斉してね、良くなってるんで、あの、チームとしてはいいと思いますね。で、やっぱり、あのー。もともと強いと本当は思うんですけど、えー、まあ相手が雑な感じ、今、なめられているんで、雑な感じだったんで、まあ、なんとか9点に抑えられたってところがあるんで、まあね、もっともっと本気でやってもらえるようにね、一戦一戦強くなっていきたいと思います、はい、はい、ありがとうございます、じゃあ、これからの課題としては何でしょう、じゃあ、キャプテン、これからの課題、えー、あのチームとしてこれから成長していくと思います、課題としては、えー、もっともっと自分たちがやりたいことっていうのを、その完成度を上げていって、相手にも通用するっていうことをこの一戦一戦をやることに証明していきたい証明していきたいというふうには書いています。感謝だけていうことです。はい。それではですね今ちょっとこれを聞いてくれて頼まれたんですけども家族に一言何かありますでしょうか。これはない。家族がいる。家族がいるといるのか。友達でも結婚した友達結婚したてだから。それはダメです。めっちゃ譲り。パパ頑張りましたよ。<笑>えー、あそうか今クラジオなんですかねこれ。YouTube。あ YouTube なんですね。まああの一生懸命やれることをやりましたんでまた帰ったら僕を優しく迎えてください。頑張りました。ありがとうございます。はい以上日本チームでした。ありがとうございました。こんなんでいいかな。